to make sure that you put yourself in his position to do a self-examination of yourself, that you may become a better person. That's all. That's all it's about, becoming a better person. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and we all have to do this. That's why I'm going over to review myself. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that ye could not do the things that ye would. See, there's, there's a battle that we're fighting. And the flesh is fighting against the spirit. But if you don't think about the spirit, you're just all carnal minded. That's why it says. But if ye are let be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Because, meaning, you're going to be doing what's right according to the most high. He said, if you love me, in St. John 14, 15, the Mashiach Kalashai said, keep my commandments. You led of the spirit, you're going to follow what he said. So you ain't got to be under no strict laws. If you're doing what's right according to the most high's laws, then you ain't got to be judged on the law. Because you're not going to be accounted because you're going to be doing what's right in his eyes. He got rules and regulations. You're going to follow his rules and regulations, no more, no less. Just like you got rules and regulations right here in wherever land you in watching this video. Watch, hearing my voice, watching what it is that's coming forth from the spirit of the most high. You got rules and regulations. That's all law says commandments are, rules and regulations. So you follow rules and regulations, you ain't under the law. You know, most I got, you got, I got to read all, this, all the time to you. You're not supposed to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and a dietary law. I like to go there because there's something to show you that I got to continue to tell you from Leviticus 11 chapter, the, the clean and the unclean beast. Once you know it, you, you, you do what's right. You ain't under that law no more because you're doing what's right. You ain't got to go to the most high. Do what Mashiach God was asking for, forget us your sins because you're eating the proper foods to the best of your ability. Verse 19, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, and fornication is Leviticus 18 chapter, tells you about fornication in the law, uncleanness, lasciviousness, people having intercourse beasts and all kind of madness, sexual acts. Idolatry, witchcraft, all these things are happening right now. Hatred. That's why this is the world. And this is this is how you fall into that particular category if you are relying on the flesh and not the spirit. Which is contrary to each other. And when you roll into the spirit, you see these things of people that's acting operating in the flesh. And yet still, they ain't want to act like they're all right, but nah, you operate in the flesh. One of these characteristics, that's what you follow. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance. You know, you like this person, you don't like this person. You bias. Emulations, wraths, strife, seditions, heresies, envies. Murderers, hating your brother, drunkenness, all the time drunk, not focused. If you're not focused, you're like a drunk. That's drunkenness too. If you ain't focused on thus say the most high, concentrate on this word, you're like a drunk. Because drunk dealing with what? Drinking, drinking, what they call drinking, spirits. What happens when you drink? You can do anything. When, you, when you're, you're sober, you're one way, you're not sober. You're sober, you're focused. When you drink, you might, the spirits that's in you gonna come out. Revelings all the time, arguing, going back and forth, causing confusion. And such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past. He even told us in time past, he even heard it all night long. That they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high. There it is. That's why you become a new creature. You gotta become. Uh, you got to be transformed from the old man to the new man. You got to be born again. It says, but the fruit of the spirit, the power of the spirit 
is love, joy, peace, long suffering, suffering for a long time with each other, gentleness, not amongst yourself, but amongst your people, but the Israelites, goodness, faith, meekness, humility, temperance, against such there is no law, because when you follow these principles, you're going to know how to love the most high. To love your neighbor as thyself. To have joy within each other, with, with the most high. And have joy. You know, my shot got shot. And have joy with your people. And all of such. As you hear in this, there is no law. Because you're going to follow, like I said, loving the most high with all that heart, mind, and soul, and strength. And loving that neighbor as thyself. You're going to follow the two commandments that all the commandments are based upon. How we serve the most high and how we serve each other. You can look forward to receiving the kingdom of the most high. But some people are so arrogant and so spaced out. The most, remember the most high say, hey, you hate a poor man that's private. Got no reason to be private. Thinking they all that. The most high allow you to have a few scriptures. I mean, how many brothers have I seen that was scripturally down to the utmost? Taught a lot of brothers. And they ain't even dealing with the truth no more. Most I have caused their minds to not even desire to do the things that they have done in the past and teaching a lot of brothers. And now they're not even functioning in the truth anymore. So don't get it twisted. This could happen to anyone. No one's, no one's exempt from this, brothers and sisters. No one. I say no one, no one. Listen. That's Galatians 5, 14 down. The fruits of the Spirit is Galatians 5, 22 down. Listen, verse 24, Galatians 5, 24. And they that are Mashiachim, that's Christ's, the Messiah's, have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. So if you master Yaki, these are the things that you, you have to do. And it tells you in, hold that, in 1 Corinthians 3, 23. So these are the things that needs to be coming out more because it's about us. You know, a lot of times, you know, I tell you, knowledge puzzles us up and we're so, so apt to look at all that we know and forget about the simplicity of What's being said here? First Corinthians 3.23 And ye are Mashiachim And Mashiach is the Most High So let us know that we belong to Mashiach And Mashiach is the Most High From the beginning He's been dealing with us And he came in the flesh To be the ultimate sacrifice of the Lamb Of the Most High To shed his blood for us and yet still, we still want to follow the way of the world. Those that he, his blood was not shed for. Even two thirds of our people, don't matter. They just like the world. The world says it's okay for a man to be with a man, a woman to be with a woman. Is that okay according to the law of the Most High? No. They're not going into the kingdom of the Most High. How a man and a man gonna go to the kingdom of the Most High and he said be fruitful and multiply? He just gave us pleasure in, in sexual intercourse, but it was, it was to bring forth children, to multiply. That we could be newer than the sand and the sea and, the, and more newer than the stars in the sky. Galatians 5.25 So if we live in the Spirit, excuse me, but verse 24. Galatians 5 and 24. And they that are Mashiachim, since you Mashiachim, and Mashiach is the most high, they that are Mashiachim have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. You got to crucify the flesh with the affections and lust that's in the, in the flesh. If ye live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit by following the fruits of the spirit. As we see in verse 22 and 23. If you live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. You hear that? 
Let us not be desirous of vain, worthless glory. Provoking one another, envying one another. See? We ain't supposed to be doing that. Provoking one another. Thinking about things. I guess I'm going to do this here. I know this will get on their nerve. Provoking somebody. That's evil. You done conquered up something evil to deal with against someone. Envying one another. Envying for what? I don't know if I can envy nobody. We ain't got nothing. We know what we have. We have nothing as we ought to have. What we're going to have. Galatians 6 and 1. Say, brethren, if a man be overtaken in the fault, ye which are spiritual, Restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. Spirit of meekness, you gotta have humility. Considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. So you gotta consider yourself, else you be tempted with that same problem they got, just gonna come right on you. If you lash at somebody, lashing out at somebody, that ain't the spirit of the most high. That's why it says you gotta do it in meekness. Say, bear ye one another's burdens. And so fulfill the law of Masiak Yahushai. We got to bear each other's problems. You know? Some people don't want to do that. We got to bear each other's burdens. That we can fulfill the law of Masiak Yahushai. Being there for each other. For a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiving himself. You see? But see, brothers don't go here. They don't really, they don't really look at this. They are, they feel you what what makes you something? You have enough money to take care of everything that's that's necessary to be taken care of. There's no need of cat. That's why most I say, hey, the poor man that's prideful, because when a man thinks he's something when he's nothing, he deceiving himself, being deceived. This is real, people. When you say poor, you think you talk about. What so I say here, the poor man that's private. You ain't got nothing as you ought to have. We living from day to day. And they say, what if they? What if you work? And they say, we are, we are, we are, we not gonna pay you. We not gonna pay you. Whenever you get paid, a month you gotta stay. Take a whole month off. We don't. You gonna work, but you don't get paid for a whole month. Shoot, our, our lives be just done. <laughs> a whole lot of people's lives be just done. <laughs> You'll get money for a whole month. You got to take care of everything you take care of in a month. You have no money, she might starve to death. Unless you know how to hustle would be able to do whatever you need to do to, to make it out there. That's why I love my brothers and sisters downtown. They say, hey, they got you. There's a lot of people that they don't, they have little, nothing. a lot of you have so much you don't even realize you have that much. But the most I take everything from you, what you going to do then? How you gonna survive? You know how to survive with little or nothing? No, because you gotta have everything that you used to. You gotta become accustomed to living a certain way. That's why you can't do the things you should be doing in the truth. To make sure that you were even walking around like an Israelite. You don't even know, people don't even know you're an Israelite unless you open your mouth and say something because you don't look like no Israelite. You ain't operating as an Israelite. You just like somebody in the world. Ladies, y'all, some of y'all probably wear pants sometime. You got fringes on, your ribbon of blue. Mind, 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 the, mind yourself for the commandments. This is spiritual. But if you if you carnal minded, you don't see that. All you see is, well, I ain't got to do that. You know, that's what has come on this earth. These new, deep spirit brothers. So you ain't got to do that. Most I said, hey, that's the law. You ain't got to follow that law. What's the difference between saying you got to follow that law? And then they say you got to follow this. They come down hard on somebody about another law, but that one, you ain't got to You ain't got to worry about that one. I mean, I'm just giving you analysis of what is happening now. When you say you, these fringes remind you of the commandments. Look upon the fringes and remember this commandment is spiritual. But if you're not spiritual, you, if you ain't in the spirit, you, you in the flesh, you ain't going to see nothing because you carnal minded. Straight up. That's why I say, for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiving himself. But brothers ain't gonna say, I ain't nothing. I'm somebody. Why? That's why I say you, you deal with vain glory. Vain glory. Hmm. 
verse 4. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You got to prove your own self, whether or not you're in the faith, whether or not you're really in this truth. For every man shall bear his own burden. You hear that? Every man gonna bear his own burden. Just what you've done, you shall reap what you suffer. He that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect to person. Verse 7. Be not deceived. Don't be fooled. Don't let nobody lie to you. The Most High is not mocked. You ain't gonna mock the Most High, the word of the Most High. For whatsoever a man 